I wonder if you could talk a little bit about one thing you didn't really talk about that much was about resumes. And um, it's interesting that I, I found out just recently that um, resumes, apparently, I believe the first resume I was told as was created by Leonardo da Vinci back about 500 years ago. And so even though so much has changed in how one searches for a job, the resume, um, you know, has has been around for quite some time. So I guess my question is, how important are resumes? And if they are still important, uh, what sorts of skills, um, keywords, experience do you look for on a resume um, or alternatively on a LinkedIn profile? Yes. So resumes are still important. Um, equally, if not more important, is uh, a LinkedIn profile. I, you know, so I've been in this business for 17 years recruiting, and I will say that a LinkedIn profile is about as important as, say, um, you know, in the early, late 90s, if you didn't have a website as a business, you were not legitimate. You know, and now not having a LinkedIn profile, like, I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and because uh, that's where we go first. I, and I can tell you that most recruiters that I speak to, and, and just speaking personally, um, the especially for these these types of roles, these more you know data science type of roles that are, are pretty complex, um, you know where we have to actually go find people. They don't people just don't respond to job ads. Um, you know LinkedIn is is the place where we go, and you got to be findable. And how do you be findable on LinkedIn? Is you have a pretty thorough profile, uh, details on you know everything from the skills get recommendations if you can like I, I don't get them from professors like get somebody to vouch for you that matters um, and matters can be somebody you interned with uh, a professor if it's early on um, co-workers uh, students you worked with that thought you were impressive and you know and it's saying something about your personality how brilliant you are what you're what you're particularly good at uh, anything like that is really helpful and I can tell you that more times than I can count I was ready to pass on somebody because I didn't get what they were trying to communicate they're either their profile or, or, or even get on the resume it was communicating to me different messages like I didn't know where they wanted to take their career per se and I you know like I, I, you gotta remember like recruiters we, we we make our money from doing placements for our clients and like if we don't you know we're, we're gotta we gotta hustle ourselves so if like we're not sure if we're not sure we may want to move on to the next candidate but if i but if i see a great recommendation or two or more from a professor or or somebody who's just like you know this guy really worked hard. He he went the extra mile. He's brilliant. He came up with all the solutions. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. Wait a minute. You know, if someone else is saying that, especially if the person that is saying it has a little bit of cachet or uh, somebody already in business or or a professor that holds weight that matters. Um, so I would get those, and I would just um, you know make sure the search engines can find you, and uh, that just means filling out the uh, profile with some decent, decently robust information, the skills section, um, all those kinds of things, and make sure that your resume and your profile match. Don't have dates that don't jive, um, you know, because we're gonna be like, what's going on here? This is person lying you know um, so you want it you just want it you want it to be professional you want it to be tight uh, tight meaning it look good and and like you're on your game you know like you hire like that's kind of the way you want to be sharp because uh, LinkedIn could be the first impression that people have of you so um, definitely LinkedIn is huge I I know mark you wanted to to uh, and we'll touch on the resume uh, right after this, but <clears throat> well, you know what? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the resume too. The resume is important. I think um, we what we really want to see is recruiters, and and this is a mindset thing too. 
uh, we were talking about from early on. When you do engage a recruiter, remember they're not data scientists, right? I'm not a data scientist. I've learned a ton, but I'm not. And I haven't, I'm not a programmer, and I'm probably one of the better recruiters in the space because I've studied it, you know, for the last four years and I've been in the trenches. But you want to be able to talk to us and communicate to us in more business terms. Here's the problem I had. Here's how I approached it. Here are the tools I used. Here it comes. Like, when you explain what you did, why you got hired at a company, and what you did, that's what we want to hear. Okay? Not way too in the weeds on the, on the technical stuff. Um, not too much on... Um, you know, that, and and this is this kind of speaks to this whole thing of, um, you know, needing needing a communi- good communication skills, because data scientist, data engineer, or or big data analyst, you're going to be speaking to business people, and many most of them are not going to be anywhere close to as technical as you are, and they will not know um, what you're capable of. You know, they're going to need to be kind of educated in many ways and walk through it. But what they can relate to is you telling them how they can help their business and how you will do it. And they don't necessarily need to know which tools you're going to use, <laughs> per se. They need to know, like, what data can you get me? What can you do with that data? What can we learn? What can we probably learn? What can we try? You know, like, and so that's that's where you're, you're, you're lowering risk by communicating on a, on a in a normal way, <laughs> if I, you know, in a human to human way. And um, so your resume, I do like it when um, there's just, you know, some, some good clarity on, you know, especially early on, there's a lot of internships and, and, and companies that people work for where I won't know that we, as recruiters, we won't necessarily know the names of the company or what those companies do. So it's nice to know. I, I like it when people put the the company name, uh, of course, the dates and the title, and then a little blurb about the company. <laughs> like, what do they do? And you know, why were you hired, or, or what group are you in? Again, what did you do? What tools did you use? What was what were the results? Like, what did you, you know? And there could be some fantastic people out there and I'm sure there's a bunch that are great with great programmers and they're great with the technology but maybe they're not great analysts and at the end of the day we need people to be great analysts in many ways they need to be um, very perceptive they need to know how to ask the right questions and work with business really well to solve business problems and um, so we want communicating in that way it's like know know your audience. It's who are you trying to communicate with this resume? Who are you trying to communicate to with your profile on Twitter? And sometimes it's multiple, so, uh, multiple audiences. So sometimes you may have versions of your resume. So one more technical. Uh, I think you can get away with a pretty um, businessy oriented resume most of the time, as long as you know there's a section that lists your skills. Um, you know, as long as we get a feel, because that's probably one of the, as recruiters, we'll be looking for prerequisites on different technologies, um, that, uh, that people have on there. And we can talk about what, what I generally look for, um, because most jobs have similar requirements and things like that. So, um, I don't like a lot of, uh, I don't like a lot of fluff. But I do get six-page resumes, um, from, especially from PhDs, who, uh, you know, but I like that. I like listening to the papers because a lot of my clients are actually very interested in that, especially when you don't have a long work history. Um, so uh, I guess that's kind of basic. Yes, resume is important. Pro- LinkedIn profile equally is important, and they should match, and they should communicate as clearly as possible to, I would say, lean a little bit more to the business audience than the tech tech audience. Because those are the people 
often that are the ones deciding whether to call you, whether to uh, invite you in for an interview. So um, just to summarize, you know, resume and LinkedIn are both still very important and uh, they should match and they should be geared towards um, a more business, less technical audience because uh, those are the, mainly the gatekeepers and the people who are doing the searching. Um, and I would, you know, I would obviously, you know, know that that audience is not, uh, it's just not a data scientist, it's not technical, so you need to kind of, um, ex- you know, keep, keep, you know, make it very obvious with your tool set list um, right up front um, and, and describe the jobs that you did uh, and the companies, add as much detail as you can, but again, go to that approach of, you know, I was hired to do this, you know, work on this kind of a problem, this is the approach we took, we grabbed this data, we did that, we, we did, ran these kinds of models, um, this was the result, and this was maybe the impact on the business. Like, that's fantastic if you do that. I'm telling you, um, very few people do that, do that, you're going to stand out. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's the kind of the key message is, is to uh, uh, definitely add a lot of add as much detail as you can, but know your know your audience. And in most cases, um, I'd probably say add eight out of ten times, you're going to be dealing with somebody who's not a data scientist or a big data engineer. It's a recruiter or a business person, and um, that's who you need to address your your that's your audience. So play to that. I think that's so important that I, I've looked at a lot of resumes, and yes, they, they are overly technical, and they are geared towards other data scientists, and you're right. You really want to talk. I tell people, talk less about the actions you took and more about the results you obtained, the responsibilities you had, and the business value that you provided, because that's really, you know, you, you've said it over and over here a couple of times that peop, uh, employers are looking to minimize risk, and so what they're really, what they're really asking is, can you solve my problem? So I think everything you said was uh, was perfect and hit the nail on the head. Nice. Yep. It's uh, definitely definitely true.